This week on George to the Rescue. We got married in June, and then five months later, he had uh, a stroke. And I thought it would be great if I could put a front porch on for him. I got your email, and I, I heard all about you and, and your husband, John, and uh, I wanted to come and see what I could do for you. Oh all right, we got the four posts up. George, let's get this beam next. All right. Ah! Flip it. Flip it. All right, guys, if you want to look up, you can. <gasps> I'm George Oliphant in Seaside Heights, New Jersey, and this week I'm here to rescue Debbie and John. After raising her daughter for 26 years as a widow, Debbie met John, her knight in shining armor. John was a pillar in the community, a devoted volunteer, and an avid outdoorsman. But sadly, after only a few months of marriage, he suffered a massive stroke, which has left him paralyzed on his right side and unable to speak. These days, he spends most of his time inside, cut off from his community and the neighbors he loves. Debbie asked us to build a front porch so that John could interact with his neighbors. And that's what I'm here to do. In 1997, um, my girlfriend, who is John's cousin, invited me to their family reunion. At the end of the weekend, I heard that everybody was asking John if he got my phone number which he didn't. So a couple weeks later, he called me and we went to a movie. And then that's how it started. We got married in June. And then five months later, he had uh, a stroke, which left him right side paralyzed, his arms paralyzed, and also with aphasia, which is the inability to communicate. He at times would apologize to me because he was sick. You know, that says everything about how he was. You know, that he would say he was sorry. He was the chairman of the um, Local 164, it's the electrical union. When you say brotherhood, it is a true brotherhood of electrical unions. And um, they were by our side every day. Everything has changed as far as, you know, socializing because he can't speak well. You know, he really likes to stay home. This is his comfort zone. He um, basically really just always sat in our backyard and I thought it would be great if I could put a front porch on for him where he could interact with our neighbors or just people passing up and down the block every day. And then thinking that it would help him even communicate a little better with people. And I asked George if he can come to my rescue. Moment of truth. Hello, how are you? How are you? Good, are you Debbie? Yes. Hi, George Oliphant, I'm here to rescue you. How are you? Come on out. I'm doing great. I got your email and I, I heard all about you and, and your husband, John, and uh, I wanted to come and see what I could do for you. So uh, this is the right house, right? <laughs> this, come on in. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. I want to do this front porch for you, okay, but I want it to be a surprise, and there's no element of surprise if you guys are inside the house all the time. Okay. So I'm going to send you on a little vacation just to uh, get away from from the neighborhood just for a few days while we do the front porch. I'm going to pack you guys up, send you on the road, and uh, when you return to your little beautiful house here, you have yourselves a brand new, oh my gosh, amazing front porch. Thank you. So Debbie, is it is it settling in? A little bit. I have to tell somebody though. I'm like, well, like, so. So, who, who's going to be your first call? I think I'm going to call actually my girlfriend who lives down here, and she is one of my best friends. Red? Yeah. He said he's coming to our rescue. I, I'm here to rescue Debbie and John. <laughs> oh my God, are you there? Yeah. <laughs> Standing here in the flesh. <laughs> oh my God. Rest assured, 
Sean and Debbie are going to be very happy with what we do for them. Now that Debbie and John are gone, I can finally get down to work. But in order to make this dream of a porch a reality, I'm going to need some help. I got my friend Matt Wendorf here from RPI Design Build. George, great seeing you. It's good to see you too. And you are on the right project. My friends Debbie and John who live in here, great people. Unfortunately, John suffered a massive stroke, so he's got trouble getting around. And he really can't be out in the sun. However, Debbie, she wants him outside. She wants him to be amongst their neighbors out here in the community. Well, down the beach, that's where you want to be. So what can we do? Well. If he's got trouble moving around, this has got to be a problem for him. Uh, actually, Debbie said that he's terrified of this front step. I can barely get up this. Yeah. So what we need to do is put a platform here with an easy step to get up. And then maybe what we'll do is we'll wrap this whole thing around. Because yeah, there's a lot of waste of space this right here. Is, this is a total waste of space. We can put a couple of chairs here. And then they can enjoy their neighbors as they walk by. Yeah, I can already see John holding court right here. The problem is, you don't want the sun beating down on them. Right. I think we should do a retractable awning so that when they are out on the deck, they can bring it out, protect them from the sun, and then when they're not using it or when they don't need it, they can roll it back up and be done. So we got the front porch taken care of. Do you think there's anything else we can do for them? I think there's a lot more we can do for them. Why don't we take a look at the back? Let's see what they got. So Matt, this is the backyard, and I definitely think we could do something here, right? George, we could do something big here. I mean, it is a lot of space, but they don't actually even use it because these steps, they're still hard for John to get down and get out here. Well, why don't we build a deck, nice big deck, mm -hmm. that is level with the door, so John can just walk just out, come and go as he pleases. He doesn't need to worry about the steps. Still got the sun. I mean, hey, I'm enjoying it back here, but it's bright on me. It's going to be terrible for John. Pergola. Let's get a pergola up here that's going to shade him from the sun. And I think what we can do is build a ramp here so that he's not struggling with steps that at all. No, not. It's a step-free deck. Plenty of room. Plenty I love of room. it. Sounds like we got ourselves a plan. Well, let's get to We got to get to work, right? Coming up. The idea here is that John never has to step on these pebbles. We will have ramp and decking all the way back into the house. For color, inspiration, and so much more, visit a Benjamin Moore store. To locate a Benjamin Moore store near you, log on to BenjaminMoore.com. George, George, what? George. Dude. What? No, we're not. Where'd you get this thing? I found it in the back of your truck. We're not demoing steps. We're ripping out bushes. I thought we were clearing this whole area. We are, from the bushes. So we just have to rip these bushes out? Yeah, let's get this thing chained up so I can pull it out. Uh, it's not nearly as much fun, but all right. All right, our EZAC decking has arrived. We have a lot to do. We got a lot to do, let's get it off the truck. All right. All right, Matt, I see that uh, we're starting to put down our EZAC. Building our deck. Yeah, actually I need a hand just straightening this board out. All it's right. our first and most important board. We need to hold this flush. Well, we're using this as a guide. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put a trim board eventually on this, and that's three quarters inch thick, and we want this to overhang three quarters. So this board's nice and straight. And we're gonna start with our next one. What these nails do is they allow our deck boards to be properly spaced for expansion, contraction, and drainage. Oh. Well, we got the decking down. Yeah. And the beautiful thing about Isaac is that it won't scratch, it won't split, and it won't stain. Well, John's gonna have it for a long time to come. I guess we uh, better go do the same in the back, huh? Let's get going to it. I gotta say, it's hot working out here in the sun, but uh, it's all for a good cause. It's all for John and Debbie. The idea here is that John never has to step on these pebbles. We will have ramp and decking all the way back into the house. I got Matt taking care of some of the dirty work back at the house so that I can stop by here, the Adler Aphasia Center, and check in on John. 
I am here with none other than Mike and Elaine Adler, the founders of the Adler Aphasia Center. And what do you do here at the Adler Aphasia Center? We have conversation groups. Even if someone thinks he or she cannot speak, be surprised. No. Right here? Yeah, that's it. Got it. Yes. <laughs> they're speaking, they're acting, they're pointing, they're doing. They're alive. And that's all we can ask for. Just working and being with John, it, you know, although he doesn't say much, you can see the man just through those eyes. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. See you at the big reveal. Speaking of which, got to get back to their house so we can see how Matt's doing with construction. Nice. Teamwork right here. Pergola is done. Not really. What, what, what do you mean? We what still we got more to do. Matt, I am back. Let me tell you, the Aphasia Center, what a cool experience. Got to see John and his element. Awesome. It was. I saw that a pergola arrived from gazebocreations.com. Yeah, I'm just going over all the parts right now to make sure we have everything, but it looks like we're good to go. This here is the first post that's going to go in for John's new pergola. We just got it from the good people at gazebocreations.com. And what it's going to allow is for John to be outside in hot days like today or on overcast rainy days and not feel the effects of Mother Nature. All right, we got the four posts up. George, let's get this beam next. All right. Ah! Flip it. Flip it. Oh my gosh, my shoulder's getting tired. We gotta get these rafters in so that we can install our awning from Shade Effects. Nice! Teamwork right here. Pergola is done! Not really. What, what, what do you mean? We still we... got more to do. What else has got to be done on the pergola? Well, now we gotta put our cross beams on. Oh, I didn't even know we had cross beams. Yeah. What do you know? Yeah! I didn't know if that was going to work. It did. How's that uh, Fear of Heights doing going up there? It's uh, doing pretty good considering I'm almost done. Yeah, well, I'm here. If you need me to catch you, that's what I'm doing down here. Yeah. Mis Mr. Rescue. <laughs> Mr. Rescue. Matt, what are you doing with that outlet there? Well, we need power to the shade effect system, and uh, I have an outlet here. I'm just trying to figure out how we're going to do it. But you're not an electrician. However, John was, and I got the guys from Local 164 here to help us out. John was a licensed electrician, worked with you guys for quite a while, and uh, we're just trying to help get John out of the living room, you know, back outside into the community with his neighbors, people he loves. What I need from you guys is I need a little electric cord. Electrician oh. rhymes with magician, so even if it's hard, we can do it. <laughs> I like that. All right, let's get to work. Okay, it's hot. John's a, a really a nice guy. He's got a big heart, you know, and he keeps uh, Local 164 close to it because it's uh, like his extended family. You're not going to find too many people in this world like John. Okay, we're good to go here. Just a wonderful, wonderful person. Debbie's an angel, and uh, they they deserve this. And you know, it's just a beautiful thing what everybody did for him. If we want to get John hanging out on this front porch the way he likes to do, we got to be able to shade him from that east sun when it rises up in the sky. So I got my friend Brian McBride from McBride Awnings here. How are we going to make that possible? Well, we're going to put up an eastern awning retractable. All right. We're going to put it up over that window. It's got a nice width, enough width to bring it out to the railing. test it out. I like that it comes with a remote so that John will never even have to stand up and just be able to sit here. Shade, no shade. It is now time to install our retractable awning. Well, let's hope it fits. Fingers crossed. You got it? Yep, I'm all set. All right, I think we got to turn. 
Turn. Turn towards you. Well, this has got to be the downside. Oh, true. Turn towards me. No. We got to flip yes. it and reverse it. You, oh, we have the wrong hands. We're upside down. I'm at, I'm at the end of this, aren't I? Now That's twist. Good. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> 45 minutes, baby. The deck, the pergola, and the awning all done. Now, it's design time. Coming up, decking. Got our pavers, we're starting to do our landscaping. Check, check, check. Next up, big reveal. George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by Expo. Life, remarkable. It is design time on this rescue, both on and off the decks. I have my designer extraordinaire, Denise Wendorf, and my landscape architect, Bob Hessels from RDH Design Group. Guys, thanks so much for helping me out. So Denise, just looking around, what do you think we can do? It's not a very big space in front, but what I'm thinking is if they could enjoy a cup of coffee in the front, something just where John and Debbie could enjoy that area. But what I'm thinking about for the backyard is really bringing the seashore to them. If we could do a whole outdoor entertaining area right in his own backyard. Now, Bob, as you can see, during construction, we totally destroyed both the front and backyard. How can we fix it? Well, we're gonna start in the front, basically to accent that new front porch that you built. We're gonna rip out the front walkway, add pavers to the area to make a more safe, comfortable walk for John. And then we're gonna do a nice screen planting off the side to continue the privacy that you've already created with this beautiful pergola and trellis setup that you have on the deck here. Guys, I like the way we're thinking here. So we got our decks, we got our yard. We're ready to do some serious designing. The action and excitement is at fever pitch for this rescue. Just gotta check the expo board, make sure we dot all our I's, cross all our T's. Decking, just gotta finish those rails, then we'll be done. Got our pavers, we're starting to do our landscaping. So that means we're good right here. We got power. Gotta make sure that our pergola and our shade are set to go. Check, check, check. Next up, big reveal. Done, you're done railing. When you're doing landscaping around your house, you want to make sure that you pick plants that can thrive in your environment. Since we're down here around the shore, one of the plants we're using, beach grass. Ooh, I love the color on these tiles. You know, we decided to go with a little bit of a navy theme on, as you can see with the awning, just a little pop of color. And then again, we're bringing the sea to John and Debbie, so a little sea glass and a pop of color with some lemon. You know, to think, Denise, that before this, all John had was that rocking chair, which he used to sit out on by himself, just so he could be outside. Now we've given him this outdoor living room for him and Debbie. Well, what this is really creating is a different lifestyle for John and Debbie. I think they're really going to enjoy this. Denise has found a solution for this ugly old window in local artist Jill DeAngelis, who's going to paint John's favorite fishing spot on this reclaimed cabinet door. I'm so happy to be involved in such a wonderful project. That painting is something that he could look out his window and really feel like he's fishing on that pier. Matt, we have got to get that shed painted, but never fear, I got the Aura self-priming exterior paint from Benjamin Moore, so it should make our job a snap. Matt, neither rain nor shine was going to stop us from finishing this rescue. Can you believe it's done? I cannot believe it's done. And I knew it was going to be great, but it exceeds my expectations. Why don't you go get John and Debbie? Thanks for all your help, buddy. No problem. Coming up. Oh, my God. <laughs> it wasn't just me. I got some good friends. And together, we said, we got to turn this place into a paradise, an outdoor oasis for the north. Oh, my God.
Know someone in need of a rescue? Send us an email at george at nbc.com. All right. Remember, Debbie. I'm not peeking. No peeking. When George first called me about this story, I thought to myself, boy, I could really make a difference in somebody's life who helped so many other people. It rained. It was hot. It was, it was everything you can imagine, but we stuck to our guns, we worked hard, and it's, it's nothing but gorgeous. Eyes down, John. Uh, I know. I appreciate it, bud. I know. <laughs> All right, Debbie, John, one, two, three. Oh my God. Oh my God. It looks like a different house. <laughs> This is oh it. My this God, is where the neighbors oh my God. and the community are going to come oh, to see you guys. this is beautiful. Uh, I don't know. That's a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. He's used to doing all this work. I know you're I the know, handyman uh, around the house. Yes, yeah, uh, Well, it's the least I can do. It's, speaking of being handy, there was just one thing I noticed on the side of the house. I took the liberty of fixing it. Let me just show you what I did, if you don't mind. Oh. Eyes down. It's really what? just... I put oh down these God. papers right here. If you keep your eyes down, I'll show you what I what I did. Alright guys, if you wanna look up you can. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> it wasn't just me. I got some good friends. And together we said we gotta turn this place into a paradise. An outdoor oasis for the Oh my god! Do you really god. think I was just gonna give you a front tour? Oh. Come on! <laughs> Oh my God. Why don't we go to the deck and you can view it down. And uh, you know, John, oh, I know that you're geez. not a big fan of stairs. We got you a great ramp. Oh my, oh my God. God. Is this an outdoor oh, oasis or what? beautiful. What fun is all of this if you don't have your friends and family to share it with? I know. Am I right? You're right, you're right. And also, I decided right. to bring them along too. Some of the guys from Local 164. Oh, oh my God! Oh! Oh my God! Oh! That's it. We all love you, John. We love you, Dad. Both John and Debbie are just absolutely amazing people. And John, a guy who has done so much for so many others, has always put others first. And to be able to come in and, and do something for him with the help of his guys from Local 164, Matt Wendorf, our landscaper and our designer, and everybody who got involved. It was something special, and uh, I don't think I'll ever forget this rescue. I'm speechless. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful, right? Just yeah. we wanted just a little porch in the front for John to come out easily. Well, now he's going to be torn which way to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give me it. Oh my God! Oh. Okay. Okay. Thank you, George. Thank you. Thank you very much from the bottom yep. of um, our hearts. You are a truly wonderful, wonderful person with all you do. I truly, truly thank you very much. You're one special guy. Uh, this is what makes doing rescues worthwhile. All the friends and family. <laughs>